afternoon Chicago all of you who are at home I am your host Ziff Sistrunk what a show we got for you today uh, quite a show to say the least uh, before we always start our show off we always want to thank Can TV for this opportunity and we always like to give tribute and pay homage to people who have lost their lives here in the city of Chicago to violence in the city, in the county, in the state, and in this country. So we always like to start our show off with a moment of silence. So, if you would, join me please. We thank you. <clears throat> Who is Green Slate Institute for Justice? We are Green Slate Institute for Justice. 2017, 2018 initiatives. And what are some of our initiatives and some of our goals that we hope to fulfill with Green Slate Institute for Justice? And one of them is a ballot referendum for judicial retention and election ballot placement. What am I talking about when I say judicial placement? Let me tell you how it goes here in the city of Chicago and in the Cook County. Judges are supposed to be voted on. There's a pool of judges that are never voted on. They're just retained by saying yes. So they could have had tons of people to come before them and they could have gave those people no bonds. And that is not right. It's unconstitutional. The Constitution say that you have the right for a bond. So for a judge, and in some cases, some of these cases are heinous. And some of these cases are very bad. But guess what? Unfortunately, the person is still supposed to get a bond. The court says you're supposed to get a bond. So these judges who are not up for re-election and cannot be voted on because of the system that is in place that needs to be reformed, there's judges on the bench that you will never, ever, ever get a chance to vote for. There's judges now, there's called subcircuit. People are visiting your house for petitions, sign, and I encourage you to sign and give them an opportunity to get on the ballot. But there's judges who you'll never, ever vote on. You'll never get a chance to see them on the ballot. And that's one of our issues about the judges and our position on the ballot. Why is it that the judges needs to be at the back of the ballot? I think judges should be first. We should vote on judges first on the ballot. Why? What's the chance? <laughs> what's the chance of me beat Donald Trump? Very unlikely. What's the chance of me beating Ron Emanuel? Mm, probably see him at Mr. Biscuits at a restaurant or something. Probably having lunch or something. But the chances are unlikely. What's the chance of me? <laughs> Y'all know how I drive, right? Mm, illegal turn. No stop sign. No front plates. Uh oh, you got a ticket. Speeding lights. You got a ticket. Now, who do you think you're getting ready to take off from work? Miss your child's uh, play, can't go to the baseball game because you got to go to court. So who do you think you're going to meet first? Donald Trump, an alderman, the mayor, or a judge? I think you get it. So we propose that judges should come to the front of the ballot. We should vote for judges first. What do you think about that? If you think that's a good idea, you can call me right now at 312-738-1060. Now, here's something I think I will get a lot of support for. Let's look at this one. Let's jump from one to three because we were talking about judges, right? Take me for an example. I told you I'm <laughs> not a very good driver. <laughs> I'm not a very good driver, but that's okay. Community service payment for tickets. I owe the city some money for tickets. I can't 
pay him right now. Let's just be honest. I, I just can't pay him right now. I think it would be a good idea, and the Institute for Justice think it would be a good idea if I'm allowed to do community service for my tickets. Now, example. Okay, let's 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 talk about this for a second, and then you can get in on the debate, and you can get in on the discussion with me at three one two seven three eight ten sixty. My name is Ziff Sistrom. And I am the director for the Green Slate Institute for Justice. And we were just talking about two and three of our initiatives. Now, we had said that judges should be moved to the front of the ballot because I'll meet a judge before I'll meet a movie star, before I'll meet the president, before I'll meet probably an alderman and definitely a congressman in Washington, D.C. So I think judges, we should vote on judges first. And if you agree with me or if you disagree with me, we have a caller. Caller, my name is Ziff. What is your name? And you are on the air. Yes, sir. My name is Ray. I called you last week. Hey, my uh, number one fan. How are you? What do you think of the ideas that we're talking about today? Judicial uh, placement on the ballot. And do you owe anything for tickets? You ever owed anything for tickets? No, let me tell you this. I've oh. never had a ticket. Never had a ticket. I'm 69 years old. Hold on. You're 69 years old and you've never had a ticket. And I, and I drove the CTA bus. And you are you are dry, you are raising your right hand when you say that, right? Uh, my right hand, any hand that you want, never got a ticket. That's your left, Ziff. You want to raise this right? That's a that's a blessing, and it's a wonderful thing to hear. Oh, so people can no, be responsible not, as drivers. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that I didn't go a little bit over the speed limit and didn't get caught. I can't say that. <laughs> I can't raise my right hand to that. Okay. But you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Listen about the judges. That's never going to change because the people on top are going to let it happen the way we want it. The second, the second thing about getting all three of the commissions and all of that in one is a great idea, but that's not going to happen because how, how are the um, people that are in office now, how are, how are their kids and relatives and everybody? get a job okay well let me ask you something then let me let me throw one more thing on the table and then i'm going to get you to comment on this okay now here's my sure. second proposal let me let me bring it out first the consolidation of the state county and city board of elections we got a state board of elections we got a cook county board of elections and we got a city of the board of elections really yeah. do we really need three board of elections you got one driver's Secretary of State, you got one board of election. You got one, uh, uh, you know the different departments in the city. One housing, one dental, one. But why do we need all these board of elections? That's not going to change. I'm going to tell you why. You, Mister, ain't going to change nothing. Family, as long as the, the, the people are in there that stay in there, the family, relatives, and everybody else is going to get that money. <laughs> money stays in the family. <laughs> So are you telling me that in this country that it is futile for us to believe that we can do like the Founding Fathers did, step forward, put a petition, uh, what does it say, the Constitution say you can, what's the word they use, your, your elected officials? This is Chicago. I've been here 69 years. I was born here. And nothing's changed. Not a thing. It, you know what? In a perfect world, we'd be sitting on those commissions. <coughs> but this ain't a word just don't have the pull like the, like the people that are in office have right now. You're listening to our number one fan here at Can TV. My name is Ziff Sistrunk. You're watching Green Slate Institute for Justice. You can get in on the conversation at 312-738-1060. And what are we talking about today? We're talking about something very simple that we think should be talked about, uh, digress, um, disseminated, uh, debated, and eventually we want to do two things. We want a ballot referendum. For the, the 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 way these judges are retained is unbelievable. Some judges just simply have to you just have to vote yes, and they can vote for themselves. Yes, one vote, and they're back in. No way, Jose. Forgive me for saying it like that. No disrespect. Hey, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a Mexican American. 
Yeah. You heard me say no disrespect. <laughs> you heard me say no disrespect. Let me keep going for a second. For those who have just joined us, my name is Ziff again. You're watching Green Slate Institute for yeah, Justice. Absolutely. And we're talking about the three proposals and initiatives that we're going to be putting forward this year with the new election. One of them is consolidating the state, county, and city board of elections into one. And our caller says what? I say never going to happen. Okay. Number two, that ain't going to happen. Now, community service, how, who's going to, who, what are the uh, uh, workers going to do during the day that, uh, that are paid? Okay, very good. Uh, uh oh, you just hit it on the head. That's the purpose of letting people do community service so we can begin to cut back on our budget and get our budget intact. So now just let, let me let me just show let me put it on the table for you. You have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. You've been in those courtrooms sometime and seen all those people sitting in that courtroom for traffic tickets and everything. You take me for an example. I owe the city a couple of thousand dollars for tickets. And the tickets are over two and three years old. I'm I don't have it to pay the t the city. So you know what? While I'm out there doing community while I'm out there working on the baseball fields, while I'm out there maybe if there's a flood, just take if there's a, a disaster down in, in uh uh, Springfield and people owe community service. That would be a great idea to let them do community service and city people just owe in money and they cannot pay it. Can you imagine the workforce that the city would have? Uh, Carla, you say what? Idea. That's the best idea I've ever heard. But I'm going to tell you why it's not going to work. You have Army Manual and his flunkies with their people on them jobs. They ain't going to give the jobs up to us. Oh, no. No, but, but it's not a job that you're getting. You're just simply paying. You, you're giving service for you own a ticket. You, you got two parking tickets. Yeah. And, and, and you don't have, you're, you're on fixed income. You just don't have the money. So why can't you work for the park district cleaning up the parks? Why can't you work for the streets of sanitation cleaning out on your block? Can you imagine the talent? Let me play devil's advocate. Why did you get all them tickets? You shouldn't have got them in the first place. Well, no, I'm saying, uh, obviously, I don't <laughs> intend to get tickets. Obviously, I don't intend to get tickets. But, you know, you can get a ticket, and you don't even know you got a ticket that you know that caller. Oh, yeah. Oh, then, you got, then you're in that court that we, that we just like. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and instead of me owning the city a couple of thousand dollars in which I can't pay, I should be allowed to work with the park district, just picking up paper around there. I should be allowed, I should clear my, my block anyway, and it doesn't matter if I have to do community service. And then what if I'm able to design a great program that could help with this violence or something like that? What do you think, caller? I, I'd say that's, that's, that's the right thing to do. Okay, well, let me show you something else. Another one of our great ideas, you know, of course, we're the people with great ideas here at Green Slate Institute for Justice. Now, here's something that we've engaged in and we're still doing. Those of you who are out at the L platforms, you see us out there sometime. The Green Slate Institute, one of our goals this year is a voter education program, specifically for people in the recovery community and the ex offender community. We want to have a voter registration program and a road registration drive. We want to have a voter registration drive, and we want to have, first we want to tell people, see, that's the, here's the problem I have with the voting and people registering people to vote. Why do I need to be registered every time there's a person time to vote? I think you need to work on me participating. But the reason, the problem is, people don't know why they're not educated as they're, why they're voting. Let me tell you something. All of my young people out there, let me, let me check y'all right now. Because I already know my young people talking about, I don't vote. What do I need to vote for? Nothing's going to come back my way. Let me tell you something. You are absolutely wrong. Voting is so very important. There's a tracking system, the census. That's where your money comes into your district. Oh, I'm sorry. My call is still there. What was you saying? Call, I forgot about you. Go ahead. <laughs> Let me say this last thing, and then I'll say how, how great the show is. But the thing is, look. Look around you. Look at all the deaths, all the shootings, all the mess the city has. And if that don't get you out to vote, nothing will. Yeah, well, you know, it's I uh, I was going home late last night. I had a little part-time gig, and I was going home about 2 o'clock, and very sadly, I saw some red tape on the other side of 79th Street. Someone had lost their lives. 
And that's a sad thing. And hopefully uh, the mayor's new budget, something can happen. But I think we just need to show a little bit more love. What you think, Carla? Carla, okay. Now let me show you how you can yeah. reach us. Yes. This, Carla, let me show you how you can reach us. This is very I, important. I, I don't know how, if you heard me or not. But th you know what? Just like I said, just look around you. All the death, all the filth, everything that hasn't changed in 20 years. If that doesn't get you to go and vote for the right person, nothing going to get you to go and vote. Thank you. Great show. And I sure enough going to call next week. Thank bye you bye. so much. Thank you, Carla, so very much for uh, calling in. Let me tell you guys out there how you all can reach us, especially those of you who envision that you want to help us with our voter registration drive. Again, we're the green slate. If you'll get your pen and paper out and write this information down. And if you write me a letter, I'll read it on the air tomorrow, as long as it's a nice, clean letter. Green Slate Institute for Justice, and we're at 2547 West 59th Street. And 59th Street is over by Western. Okay? We're in Chicago, Illinois, and at 606-19. And this is how you can reach us, right there. If those of you who may have trouble seeing the screen and you're just listening to us, the phone number is 217-600-1846. And, of course, you see our website, and, of course, you see me. Again, you can get in on the conversation. That's 312-738-1060. My name is Ziff Sistrunk. And we just celebrated a big anniversary here. And for all of these years, what are some of the things that we have been doing here in the city of Chicago? Some of our programs and our services. We've been blessed enough to be part of the training here. This is also training here at Can TV with this show here. They've given us an opportunity. We're in the process of developing our own radio station, uh, Screaming Live. And, of course, our radio station is the Harvey Evening Post. You've heard me say live from the Harvey Evening Post. Another thing we do is how government works. And that part of it is you, you may see a lot of people out there now doing petitions and learning how government works and learning how laws are made and learning when you, police is stopping you, when the police stop you. Uh, Hello, officer. How are you doing? It? <laughs> maybe, maybe we should actually do that one day, huh? Tell people uh, when the police stop you. That's part of the Institute for Justice, how, how government works, right? So the police stop you. But let me, let me finish this, and we're going to go back there, because I think that's a good exercise. What do you think? Do you think it's okay? Okay, if you think it's a good idea, you can give me a call at 312-738-1060. We're talking about programs and services that the Green Slate Institute for Justice are involved in. And one of the things we were telling you about is how government works. If you have community service hours that you have to do, you know, you were on the L and you didn't pay and you jumped over or something like that. I don't know, I shouldn't say that. But if you have community service hours, you can do them with Green Slate, okay? Another thing we do is sports, recreation, fitness, and public safety. We have a baseball league out on the south side of Chicago. This, this the summer, next summer we're gonna be in 87th and Stony Island, there's a baseball field. Jesse Owens, the great Jesse Owens, God rest his soul. And then lastly, we pay tribute to Kirby Puckett with Kirby's Kids Sports Camp. And again, my name is Ziff Sistrunk, and those of you who are at home, I'm glad that you could join us. Hope things are going well for you. Hope you had a great week. Wow, wasn't, wasn't the weather wonderful? And of course, who cannot uh, be thankful that the man upstairs is looking out for our Chicago Cubs. And it, it gives a morale booster when you have uh, sports. But a lot of people will say sports aren't or isn't uh, important in life. And, and I tend to disagree. Of course, we said that on our first show. Uh, if you want to get in on the conversation, still have a few more minutes left. It's 312-738-106. I am your host with the most, Ziff Sistrunk. And we are talking here this evening about the Green Slate Institute for Justice and how is it that we can get you to participate with our voter registration drive around the city. Of course, you know, now is the time that people are doing voter registration drives to get candidates. Of course, some of the offices that people are going to be running from, running for here in the city, people that are up for the county board seat, uh, they're up for election. The aldermen's are up in a couple of years. The mayor's up in a couple of years. People are up for the water reclamation. People who are state representatives, they're up for elections. The state's attorney is up. Uh, Jesse White's office is up. 
And there's a very important office that you should always keep your eye on, and that's the clerk of Cook County. That's who David Oil is resigning, and there are several candidates that are going to be running for that, too. We're going to be trying to keep you up to par with what's going on here in the city of Chicago. How do we, as the preacher from Cleveland said, how do we bring down the body count? Um, that's what you're going to have to help us with, and one way to do it is by getting involved with an organization that is named Green Slate Institute for Justice, located at 2547 West 59th Chicago, Illinois. And if you at home, if you write a letter telling us what are some of the things that you do and how the Institute for Justice, how is it and what can we do to bring about these three initiatives and these three goals? What are the goals again? We hope to have a ballot referendum for the November election of next year, where judges' retention is at question. There are judges who never, ever have to be voted on. They simply have to vote yes for retention, and they're back in. We want to see that change because judges are very important when it comes. So that's why we say it is important that we began the process of saving money for the taxpayers. I don't see a need, and we don't see a need here at the Institute, that there is a need to have a state board of elections a county board of elections, and a city board of elections. I mean, really? <laughs> I don't think so. So our initiative is to begin the process. This is not something that has been written about. This is not something that has ever been done before. This program uh, mostly highlights ex-offenders and those who, are, uh, who hope never to be an ex-offender. That this program for Green Slate Institute is a program where you at home can reach out to and you at home can be part of. And how do you do that? You simply you get a pen and paper and you write down Green Slate Institute for Justice. And that address is 2547 West 59th, Chicago, Illinois. And the phone number is 217 600 1846. We've got a few more minutes. If you want to get in on a call, you've got time to call in right now at 312-738-1060. Or if you're just at home enjoying ourselves and getting ready for the Cubs. If you're getting ready for that game, I can understand. We're going to hope the Cubs do well. Again, this is Ziff Sistrunk for the Green Slate Institution. We are located on the south side of Chicago. We have years of experience when it comes to community activism and community organizing. So that is why we here at the Green Slate Institute, 2547 West 59th Street, area code 217-618. Hope that you will take the time out to call that number right there on the screen, 312-738. Join us here every Thursday at 6 o'clock. We talk about what is affecting you, what is involved in the city of Chicago. And, of course, we here at uh, the Green State Institute, uh, we're interested in the judges, where they are placed in the ballot. We like to see a judge, when you go in the polling place in March, we want to see you be able to vote for judges first. And why is that? Because the chances of you meeting the President of the United States, the chances of you meeting a congressman, the chances of you meeting a state representative is very unlikely. The chances of you meeting a judge is very likely. So that's why we here at the Green Slate Institute for Justice is proposing by way of a referendum that judges are placed on the front of the ballot, that we consolidate the State Board of Elections, the County Board of Elections, and the City Board of Elections into one Board of Elections. And the last thing that this is real big for me, community service payment for tickets. If you have probably had your feet on the paddle and you went a few uh, miles over, or you turned right when you shouldn't have turned right at all, and you had a ticket, I think you could be very valuable and the city could be very much enhanced. I just heard, I hope you're not having dinner, uh, that we have a problem with little rats. And so that would be a one. Well, I'm not saying, you, <laughs> thank you. I'm not saying you should get out there and get rats or anything like that. But I'm saying that we could begin to solve the problem here in the city of Chicago. You have been uh, privileged to join a young man named Ziff Sistrom, who uh, we're celebrating our anniversary again, and we're so glad that you can join us. I'll tell you one more time in the two seconds that I have left, those of you who are at home, those of you who have just joined us, one last time, if you got your pen and paper handy, or if you get your camera handy, that's the Green Slate Institute for Justice. You can drop us a line, or you can give us a call. My mom always told me when I was a little boy on 43rd and Langley, she said, if a task it once begun, never leave it until it's done. Bit the labor, big or small. Zip Sistrunk, 
do it well or not at all. Good night. See you next week. And may God bless you. And thank you.